and go to the large and then think long term with the maintenance programs. Council President Paul Capriolio calling for baby steps when it comes to cleaning up the piles of trash lining our Fresno freeways. Our panel ready to weigh in and maybe have a little bit of trash talk right about now <laughs> on this problem that's really been cooking on the hot stove for some time. We welcome back Jim Vero, Gary Bredefeld, and Umberto Gomez Jr. Gary, uh, obviously, you were talking about this earlier in the week with the other Fresno City Council members, Caltrans, county officials as well. Uh, Caltrans scored a 50 out of 100 for cleanliness on our freeway. So, you know, when I went to school, a 50 was an F, a failing grade. Taxpayers want to know, is Caltrans doing their job? No, and state officials that fund Caltrans aren't doing their job. Uh, what's happened on our highways for decades is a disgrace. It's a disgrace for our city. People come in, they see this garbage. It's a very bad image we all feel. My colleagues and I have been meeting with Caltrans along with county leaders now, as well as other people, to get this accomplished. Why is it taking so long? Why, ha why hasn't the city council, whether you and this uh, city council or the one before that, why haven't they called Caltrans no, on it? There's no good reason. We are doing it now. Caltrans working with us. Uh, they decry that they're not funded enough. The bottom line is we are now working with the adult offender program, trying to work out those problems to get those offenders out uh, onto the highways, cleaning them. We expect we can have as many as 100 people out there cleaning it. And the city of Fresno is also working on a deal where we've committed money with Caltrans. And in October, I'm sorry, in December, yep. we will start a year-long program cleaning those highways. Okay, so what I, hear, what I hear is a lot of talk, but still the trash has been piling up. Yep. So should our taxpayers in Fresno believe what Gary's telling us? Is it going to get cleaned up? I think it's, I think it's going to have to one way or another. I mean, I'm not sure if, uh, if Councilmember Bredefeld's uh, plan is going to be implemented completely. Uh, I, I know a lot of folks like to say, let's get the chain gang out there to do a lot of different things. I'll believe that when I see it. I know it's being negotiated. Uh, full disclosure, uh, I do own a, uh, a property maintenance company who has bid on one of these projects that are coming mm -hmm. up. And uh, I've spent the last couple months really taking a look at our, our freeway system. And it's horrible. I mean, there are, there are some serious, serious issues with the debris on the sides of, of the road. And, you know, we just passed a gas tax not too long ago. It's not like this garbage issue uh, just popped up. It's been around for a long time. Why wasn't funding well, for Caltrans built into this? Well, and, and Umberto, I'll come to you because this is something that Governor Gavin Newsom and the Democratic Party pushed for was the gas tax bill. We're paying for it now. It didn't get repealed, mm -hmm. as you know. Measure C, well, the taxpayers are paying towards that to help build our streets and freeways. Mm -hmm. But whose fault, who's at fault here? Because we're still yet paying for mm -hmm. something else to pick up trash. Right. I just think, um, I mean, I actually agree with Gary. You know, I actually do agree that Cal, Cal, you know, Caltrans hasn't done its job. They're not funded enough in that particular aspect. And also one of the biggest uh, that I've talked to, I've heard feedback from the council members is that uh, the workers' comp issue mm -hmm. is one that has to be worked out because whether you want to have a low-level offenders, of course, if it's high-level offenders, and I think the case that they, they really looked at was when uh, they had something, an issue that uh, with uh, Sheriff Mims had to go mm -hmm. out there and it cost us a lot of money. So either way, I just hope that both, uh, you know, like I'll, I'll, I'll be making a call to my state senator well, and assembly member for more funding for but Caltrans. The adult offender yeah. program, um, Gary, yeah. um, it was wiped out for a reason and that's what yeah. Umberto yeah. was talking yeah. about because of the cost. So yeah. how is it different now? Because what, it was workers' the comp. They stopped yeah. the program. Right. Uh, Caltrans didn't want to pay for it. Now we have the city at the table, the county at the table, and Caltrans. Yeah. And we're working out all three yeah. of us, all, three agencies paying for uh, the workers' comp. Not the taxpayer. Well, the taxpayer ultimately yeah. is paying okay. for it always. Always. And, and the bottom line is Caltrans yeah. has not done its job, nor have they been funded to the level. Right. We build highways, we don't maintain them. And how, how I've been rarely is... accused of just talking. This is about action. Okay. Because we cannot have this go on How anymore. much is the taxpayer now going to have to take out of their pocket, and I'm not talking about half mm -hmm. a cent or anything like that, to actually get what you're talking about. It's using the existing resources. We're not okay. getting any additional funding. It's making it a priority, which the state and Caltrans has not done for a long time. Now we are making but, it a priority. But it's not just the freeways. 
Yeah, That's the thing. It's not like the roads within the city are spectacular and mm -hmm. it's just a freeway. No, and I want to get to that because I mean, one of the other things is the half million dollar litter abatement pilot program. And part of that is putting a lock on business trash cans and trash bins. Do you see, and if that doesn't happen, fining the business owner? Listen, downtown, I just saw where locks were not put on these uh, garbage bins and the homeless go through is it. Is that mandated? It is mandated. They're supposed to be doing that. They're not doing it. We need to make sure the business owners are doing it. Everybody needs to be a part of this problem. It's an all hands on deck approach to solving all of the dirt in our city. And it actually, you know, because you can't be apathetic towards those issues. You know, if you own a business, you can't just leave some, something unlocked because guess what? Then they're going to want to say, hey, city, can you guys come over here and clean it up? then it's going to come out of my pocket. But also I look at some of the freeway areas in Southern California, and I think sometimes they get favored because I see a bunch of mm -hmm. rock and concrete laid on exactly those areas. Right. Right. But we still have bushes and weeds and all that particular in our freeway, so in our major roadway. So I just think... Jim, punctuate this for me. And I wonder if the waste yeah. haulers in the city are going to go back to the city and ask for an increase when it right. comes to unlocking all these locks. I'm sure, I'm sure both haulers are going to have their hands out on that. So listen, yeah. one way or another, public, mm -hmm. private, mm -hmm. whatever it is, there's enough companies in this city, there's enough programs in this city to get this job done. Everyone, like, like the council member says, it's all hands on deck. Mm -hmm. Where's the money? Find it and get everyone working. You have professional mm -hmm. companies out there. You have offenders that can help. You know, a lot of these companies like mine hire ex-cons and get them back on, you know, you know, back on uh, uh, their professional feet. So, listen, let's just all sit down and figure it out because there's, right. enough, there's enough garbage for everybody, believe yeah. me. Got to punctuate it there. Right. Good trash talk, guys. Appreciate yeah. it. All right.